Hello everyone, welcome back to another Polynerdic playtest. As you can no doubt tell, we're taking a look this morning at Sea of Thieves, the latest offering from Microsoft and Rare. Oh boy, is this a hell of a thing to talk about. I have spent the last week, the game's been out since last Tuesday, I have maybe gotten to play about four hours of it, if that, in that time frame. Uh, there's been a lot of server issues. Just connecting this morning was a nightmare. I tried and tried and tried, played something else, come back, tried again. Finally got through. We're going to do this real quick while it's working. First thing I want to point out, I have to say this because I have to compliment this game on this fact, is look at this water. This water is freaking gorgeous. Look at it. I mean, look at it. Look at the water. This is some of the best water I've ever seen in games. Look at that from the underside. And we dove down deep. That's some beautiful freaking water. And as much as I hate to say this, that might be my favorite part of the entire game. My favorite part of the entire game right now is how gorgeous the water is. Like, that is some beautiful video game water. The sailing's kind of fun too. I'll give it that. Um... But it, uh, oh man, this game is not good. Uh, there's some solid groundwork set here. There's a good um, foundation, if you will, for, for a fun time. But this game is just not, it's just not fun. Uh, there's a lot wrong with it. There's a lot wrong with it. Uh, I, I hate that. The, the best thing I can say about the game is the water looks good. Um, the sailing is kind of fun. That that's Let's do some of that real quick. Let's Actually, here, we'll do this way. One of the big problems with this game is the quest structure. And I, I use quests uh, very loosely here. You get a quest from one of three factions. You have to bring it here to this voyage table. Throw it down the table. All right. So let's do this one. All right, and then we're gonna vote for it. So that's now the voyage we're on. We're on this voyage. If you have a crew, you know, everyone votes for the voyages and then you know, obviously which one wins, wins. All right, so then you go to the map. And then the map has us, well, hold on. Let me, let me first get these. So let's look at this map here. I have no idea where the hell this is. This is off right off the back. We're we're gonna do this real shitty here. I don't know where this island is. Does this give me any more information? No, it doesn't. Pull back. We're there. This is the, I mean, this is literally how the quest structure works here. So it's probably good that I'm showing you how confused I am. That it's not great time. Kind of almost like a footprint shaped island. That's not it, is it? No, that's not it. This is what you deal with when you play a Sea of Thieves. Cool. 
Sands outpost, sea dogs rest. A lot of empty ocean. There we go, lookout point. That's that's obviously the island. And it's not too far away from us, apparently. So we need to swing left. So you got the quest. You know where you're heading. Raise anchor. Now see, this is the thing. This game is very obviously designed for multiplayer. It is not a fun single player game. I, I probably, here we are almost 10 minutes in. I need to couch that. When I say this is not a good game, to be fair, I have not got to play it with anybody. It certainly seems like it might be more fun with friends. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any friends playing it, so I'm stuck here in this little sloop, sailing around by myself. Um, at this point, I have only encountered one other player ever. So I'm not sure if I've just been dumped into empty servers, or if we've just been, you know, missing each other, passing like, you know, ships in the night, so to speak. But, uh, sailing's pretty fun, even though you gotta do it solo. Um, let's drop anchor again. Faster. There we go. I believe we should be near the island that I wanted to be near. Yep. There we are. Do this. We're gonna use this cannon. Okay. Climb on in. Fire myself right up to the island. Okay, now the the, the game is gorgeous. Like the water's good. And, you know, the, the, the islands are nice. But the problem I have with the game is that um, the combat is... Let's just break it down. There's no progression. So, no matter what you do, no matter how many quests you succeed at, you never... Oh, we get right into the combat. What that? Oh, I forgot, how to, I forgot how to combat. This is the combat. Those are the only computer-controlled enemies in the game. What you just saw. The skeletons. Take some cannonballs, yeah. Um, so this is the mission structure. There's no progression to it. There's three different types of missions you can do. You can come here and collect treasure. You can... What's this? Message in the bottle. I've never seen this before. That's something new. Oh, I received a new quest. Awesome. Um, this is your progression structure. There, there's no progression. Everything you get is cosmetic. So you, you work to get gold to buy cosmetic things that you can't even yourself see because it's a first-person game unless you do this. Um, that's my bad. There are emotes. Like, oh look, oh, there's my sailor. Oh, he's waving. How awesome. Oh, look, skeleton. Again, the only computer controlled enemies you encounter. Oh, this is treasure. This counts as treasure, apparently. And this is how the quest works. You pick up the item you're you're here for. Oh shit! Skeleton in my way. Swim. Swim faster. And you bring you the treasure back to your boat. The merchants. This is from the the gold hoarding faction, is by the way. And then the merchants. They send you out to get chickens. So you got to go. This, this is this was my first experience with the game. So I probably should have known how it was going to go from there. You. Get the quest from the merchant, right? And then you 
get the quest from the merchant. You have to bring it to the ship, put it on the table like you saw me do with this one. Vote for it. Go back to the merchant, get a cage, bring the cage to your ship, put it down. If the order is for more than one chicken, you have to go back to the merchant to get another cage. Yeah, you know, depending on how many chickens, two, three, however many. And then you have to. I hear somebody. Somebody's coming. The skeleton up there. Um. You then you have to get all the cages back to your boat, sail to the island where you think you might find some chickens, find the chickens, grab a cage, put a chicken in a cage, take the cage chicken back to the boat, repeat, back and forth until you've got enough chickens, and then you sail to sell them to wherever you get, and then you get some gold, and then you use that gold to buy some cosmetic shit that only, that, I mean, that you could only see when you do this. That, that's the progression system in the game. So, you have a non-existent progression system. You have bland enemies. As you can see from this island, there are skeletons. That's what you fight. Skeletons. And occasionally snakes. I found snakes as well. There you go. Fought a skeleton. Let's go fight another skeleton. Because this is exciting stuff. Oh yeah, skeleton. I know you're out here. Come on, let's. There we go. Up oh, now you're gonna run. Now you're gonna run and trip. Look at the skeleton run. Look at him run. Go back here, skeleton. Look at this exciting combat. I should also mention you have guns but they only hold five rounds. And then once you've used the five rounds, you have to go back to your boat and get more rounds. So more running back and forth to your boat. Um, or in this case here, see there's some ammo here. So if you find some ammo on the island, you can you can get it there. But you know, these flintlock pistols, not the best. Let's get some ammo over here. Oh, can I get ammo? Or do I gotta use all five rounds first? Alright, now can I get ammo? Apparently not. Apparently I can't get ammo here. Super exciting combat. As I said. Apparently somewhere out on the sea, there's a Kraken. Uh, from what I understand though, the, the Kraken when it shows up is just tentacles. If you like go down under the boat and look for the Kraken, all you see is uh, you know dark water and tentacles. There's no actual body to the Kraken. Um, there's some sharks, and as, as I said, there's, there's snakes on some of the islands too. They're kind of a little pain in the ass. That's the enemy system. That, that, that's the kind of enemies you face other I mean hypothetically other people show up and you can fight them uh, there for a while there were no stakes in that though so that was pointless except for now I, I'm pretty sure it's live in the game now I haven't died recently but they have started taking gold from you when you die so that fucking sucks uh, because you don't get a lot of gold for the quests that you you're doing Oh, where'd you come from? Hi, buddy. See, I mean, there's no XP. There's no leveling. Uh, everything you get, all the rewards you can purchase are cosmetic only. I understand they did that to make the game accessible. At least that seems to be their plan. That way, you know, anyone can get in and play. You're not jumping into games and getting just destroyed by people that are way over level compared to you but it doesn't make for a fun game it being this quote unquote accessible there's my little tiny pathetic ship it, the only thing I can do to it is add some things to it change the sails stuff like that I can't I can't make it 
a stronger ship, a faster ship. I can't make the cannons hit harder. None of that. That's not in this game. That's not what this game is. As I said before, the quests are repetitive as hell. Those are the three types of quests you get. There's three of them. You have the treasure one that we're on now. You have the chicken collecting one for the merchants. And then there's one where you fight named skeletons to collect their skulls. Those are the three types of quests to level up your reputation with the three different factions. What happens when you level up, I don't fucking know. I haven't heard anything good. I, I guess there's some legendary area in one of the islands you can go to. But, like, some secret area that's only for people that have maxed out their legendary pirate status, from what I understand. But, like, there, there's no end game here. There's no story. Um, a lot of the, the people that seem to be having the most fun with this game are the game people that are playing with friends. And that's no fault in that. I mean, it's great that it's a multiplayer game. But I would have liked to have seen something for people like myself that don't play with a lot of people. Like, my friends that play multiplayer games aren't playing this. They're playing Destiny. They're playing Rainbow Six Siege. They're playing Battlefield games. Um, that That's the draw for them. This sort of thing isn't their, isn't their kind of thing. This is the sort of thing I was looking forward to playing by myself. And now we have this situation where, like... I mean, I haven't even encountered other people other than one guy when I f the very first time I fired up the game. The rest of my time has been like this. Doing boring quests, running around, fighting skeletons. Yep, and we're going to fight. I got you, didn't I? Oh, he hit me. Oh, now he's going to run. All right, I think you got the idea. Let's go back to the ship here. So I can have a moment of respite or check my treasure map. Okay, let's look at this. So. I'm at from the north. So, around those rocks and in the middle. All right. Let's find the actual treasure now that I've complained about the game enough. We'll we'll get to we'll get to actually accomplishing one of the quests here. So, Damn it. Let's put a fight. Exciting stuff, man. There we go. We hit him. He'll run away. He run off. So. This path? I'm going to bet it's this path right here. No, because there's the crates and stuff. So it's, it was over here. See, beautiful sunrises and sunsets in this game. Oh, right there. First dig. Fucker. Try to dig for treasure. Mm. 
I'm feeling digging would be uh, a lot more efficient with partners. There you go. Got the chest. This is literally the quest. This is one of the three quest types in this game. See how tedious this is for one person? Now imagine doing this, but you need four chickens. And then the best part is, I haven't experienced this, thank God. But you, you load up your ship with several of these chests, and then some assholes come along in a big ass galleon with four cannons on each side and just destroy you. And then you're screwed. That's, that's it for you. Get some ammo while we're here. I got enough. Alright, I've reloaded. Let's come down here and get some bananas. Take so your health, you eat bananas. There's a lot of a lot of fruit eating in this game. All right, so we we did that. Now we can hypothetically sail back. Like this game, man, like it has so much potential. This is such a good framework or uh We'll call it a, a foundation, the bones. I've heard people <laughs> refer to it as that, as the bones of a good game. But there's just not enough here to, to make it a good game. Like, this is very much a shell of a game. I, I am so glad that I am only playing this through the magic of Xbox's Game Pass. Because they're charging 60 bucks for this at retail. Or on the Xbox Store. So... I'm only playing it because it's it's the first of the exclusives to be dropped as a part of the game pass. I would have I would be so mad if I paid 60 bucks for this right now. Um, I hear again lots of people are having fun with their friends. There's you know emergent storytelling as they call it, where you're having these crazy adventures at sea with your friends, but. A lot of them have also said that there's only a couple hours worth of content before that starts to get old. And the thing is, is Rare has come out and said they have plans to add content. But the problem is, is say, these plans are literally a month out. They say they have plans... Okay, good. Good stop. Let's pick up the chest here. I see this is good water. This is this is good ocean. But it's wasted on this game. It's a, it's a shell of a game. It's not a full game. Like this easily could have been like a 10 to 15 to 20 dollar early access thing. And if that were the case, I would have been like, "Okay. I see I see what you're doing. That that's that's a good start." for that amount of money. But for poor people that have paid $60 for this. Yeah, see? see? Sell the chest to this guy. See? Look how little gold we got. That's after selling some chickens and this chest. So let's let's go see if he'll take the, uh, the cup that we got to, the little chalice. Maybe he'll take that as well. Where's my boat? There's my boat. But again, we come to this problem of if you have multiple things to sell, you have to go, if you're playing by yourself, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. That's not necessarily a fun game design. Like, I really love the look of this. I, can't, I, I, I praise the water at the start of this, but I like the overall look of this game. I like its aesthetic. I like the, the cartooniness of it, the, the bright, vibrant colors. It's it it appeals to me. I I want to like this game. I want 
to have fun with this game, but there's not enough game here. Like, this is all the game is, is what you're seeing right now. Just variations of this. Get the item, bring the item back, sell the item. Fight some skeletons. Maybe, maybe encounter some other people. Come back and go, hey, look, here, buy this cup. Good job, Harry, you bought my cup. I made a, you know, a little bit more. So let's, is this a shop? Hello. Yeah, look at the cost of these items. Just take a moment, look at that screen, look at the cost. You saw how much I just made from one quest. You have to do a bunch of quests to get the stuff. And then the problem is, this is just purely cosmetic. This doesn't make your blunderbuss better. This doesn't. This one over here doesn't make your saber, or your cutlass rather, doesn't make your cutlass more powerful. None of this. None of this makes anything better. It's just cosmetic. Safe voyage to you. Right? And then... Over here. Some stuff here that you get for free. You know. Um, wait a minute. Okay, yeah. There's a joke item in here. It's a day one patch, which is an eye patch for your eye patch for your sailor. Yeah, see. What's this guy sell? Uh, welcome. Yeah, see, there's the day one patch. That's that's a funny joke. I just wish there was more game here, because like. See, purely cosmetic stuff, admiral dress. But look at the, I mean, again, the cost of stuff. Please, come uh, there's also uh, stuff to your, that you could do to your ship. You have to make your ship more your own. I'm not sure where that's at on this particular island. This is it. What can I do you for? Equipment shop, I don't know what this is. Take it easy. All right, it's, it's taking too long to load. We're moving on. Yeah, that's what I figured. Here's the merchant's lady. This is the lady who wants you to bring chickens. Or is this a guy? No. I sense your fear. Yeah, see, this this is all is deliver game? chickens, maybe pigs. I haven't I haven't seen any quests that talk about the pigs, but maybe who knows. Here's our. There's our shipwright where you can get cool stuff for your ship, which is, you know, cool and all, but I mean, look at the cost of this stuff. Imagine how long it's going to take to get that, you know. The, the game is disappointing. That's the best I could say. I know I've kind of rambled. I didn't really prepare my thoughts beyond pros were water and cons were no progression, bland enemies and repetitive quests. But I mean, there's so much fucking potential here, and it makes me so sad. That they fall short of it. Like I'm, I've seen what I need to see of this. Like I'd like to play it with some friends. You know, check that out. See what it's like to play with friends. Sail the bigger ship, because that's that's where you get some of the cool stuff. Where you know the, yeah, one guy controlling the sails, one guy steering, somebody up in the lookout tower. You know, up here in the crow's nest, um, and then somebody, you know, I don't know, playing music, dancing around, being stupid. Getting, you know, just to be ready to, you know, make sure the cannons are ready or bail out water if the ship's taken on water. Because your ships do sink. That, that does happen. Um, a lot of potential. Utterly wasted. And, like, one of the reviews I was watching in the last couple days kept showing clips from the announcement trailer three, four years ago. Or the announcement period where Rare, the guys from Rare were announcing it. And, you know, they're talking about, like, this is the most ambitious game Rare's ever made. And and there'll be limitless potential and no limitation on on your questing and what you want to do. But that's just plainly not true. There's, I mean, it, it's, it's not good. It, this is a shell of a game. One thing I want to mention, I've been reading about this, uh, this brig right here. I'm sure it's bigger on the on the big ship. Uh, one of the things that people are doing when you join a game with randoms, because you know that's always so much fun 
to fucking play with randoms. Um, they can vote you into the brig before you even join the match. So before you even spawned, the other three people will have voted you into the brig. It's called brigging, obviously. And you'll start in this room, and then they won't let you out. That, that's that's the new fun trolling thing that people are doing. Um, ah, here we go. Hold on. This is probably one of the other more amusing things in the game. So you got your little tankard full of grog, right? And you drink it. Grog being an alcoholic beverage. Grog gets you drunk. This is one of the best drunk modes in a video game. For those of you that get motion sickness, uh, be warned, this is going to get rough. If you can't already tell. I'm not hitting the control stick. This is just standing still. This is another problem this this game was having too for the last week is uh, achievements not popping. Um, you're supposed to get an achievement for for getting drunk to the point of vomiting. Spoilers about what's to come here, and uh, I have never gotten the achievement. As we stagger around. We throw up. Please throw up. I guess I gotta drink more. Yeah, this is it's very hard to control your sailor. There we go, we're throwing up while we drink. I have no idea what the wooden planks are for yet. I guess maybe for plugging holes as your ship takes on water. Can't get up the stairs. All right. Like I said, one of the best drunks I've ever seen in a game. Cannonball. Let's let's uh let's attack this fine fine group of people here. I okay, got man. It's making me nauseous as I try to focus on this cannon and stagger around. Oh god, this guy's really drunk. Oh, yeah, that's something I should mention. Uh, there's no character creation in this game. That's a, another problem with it. Uh, my, my sailor is completely randomly generated. All sailors are in this game. You, When you start the game for the first time, it randomly generates like a half dozen sailors. And it says pick the one you like. And if you don't like any of them, you can hit the right trigger and it'll generate some more. And then like you see bits and pieces that you want, like I want that head and maybe that body and that jacket, you know, shit like that. You can't just piece them together. It won't let you. That's a really bizarre choice that they made. Can't aim at those people. Let's see if I can hit that bird. Nope. I thought for a second it was going to double back around. I was going to hit it. But that's literally the, the most fun I've had in this game so far, is just getting drunk and the occasional bit of sailing. Let's see if we don't crash here, because I didn't stop us in a bad spot. Yep, here we go. We're going to sink. We're going to smash into this. You hear the boat taking damage. Are we going to get around? Are we going to get completely around? Now see off there in the distance that looks like a ship, but I guarantee you it isn't. It's a, like some sort of like watchtower around that bit of island. The ship's just breaking as we slowly turn. We're gonna sink. I can almost guarantee we're gonna sink. I kind of want it to happen, to be honest. Oh, good lord. We're getting stuck. Can we damage the ship? I'm pretty sure my, my ship got sunk once by uh, just uh, 
the skeleton shooting at me and not hitting me. There we go, got five rounds again. Oh, look, we're taking our water. Trying to make it worse. I want us to sink. Because we're stuck. I mean, there's no... We're turning as hard left as we can. Do we sink in shallow water? Or did I, did I fuck this up so badly that we're... Right. Cool, there's a storm rolling in, that'll help. Well, oh, there's there's probably what's got us stuck right there. Ship. You sink already. You're embarrassing yourself. All right, I just heard a musical note. From what I've read, that means we just transitioned to a new server. So, hooray for that, I guess. Um, this is a thing that apparently happens. I guess the, the rare team is always trying to, you know, keep the servers balanced. Like I said, I've only ever seen one other player. It could be because I'm playing solo. more music so we've changed servers again I think this about sums up Sea of Thieves though I, th I think you've seen plenty of why the game isn't good why the game has potential and why it's so heartbreaking that like this is this is what we got you know this is this is four years of development and then some and granted I'm not I'm not shitting on video game development I know it's very hard developing games it's kind of a shit deal. But, like, literally, this game was announced three or four years ago. This is what they came out with. And, you know, yeah, it's it's great that they're going to add new content in a month. But the problem is, will anyone still be playing it? Will anyone still be playing Sea of Thieves come one month from now when they start adding new content? And how much new content are they going to add? There needs to be a lot added. There needs to be a progression system. There needs to be better PvE. There needs to be better PvP. Uh, server stuff. Oh, so many improvements need to be made to make this game live up to its potential. I think Angry Joe gave it a 4 out of 5. Uh, some outlets are giving it closer to 6 out of 10. I said 4 out of 5. Um, I think Angry Joe gave it a 4 out of 10. Um... Other outlets are, are scoring it in that six range, that mid range. Uh, I think I think honestly six may be too high. Um, it is a gorgeous fucking game. Like I I love being in this world and just you know like my my new uh, background on my Xbox dashboard is from this game because the water and the you know the reflection of the moon and the sun and the storms. All look fantastic, but there's not enough game around it, and that makes me very sad. And this game could have been so much more. Thank you for watching this 40 minute rant about this game. I'll see you next time here on the Pioneer channel. Make sure you follow me on Twitter at Pioneer. Like us on Facebook. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're not already watching this on YouTube. Make sure you bookmark PyNerd.com where the weekly podcast goes up and all you know all the other reviews and opinion pieces I do. And uh, we'll see you next time. Hopefully with something more entertaining. A better put-together game. 
Uh, Far Cry suit, Far Cry 5 comes out soon. I'll be looking forward to getting my hands on that. And, uh... Hopefully that's a much, much more entertaining, fun game than this. Thank you for watching. I'm... I'm very sorry that this is how this game came out. This, this just makes me sad. I wanted so much better than this. But it is what it is. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.